And greetings to my seven subscribers. I'm I continually try to clarify my confusing videos because they show bits and pieces, fragments of evidence that I'm compiling, analyzing. And um, I recently, I, I just now thought, well, I'm going to go back and review some of the videos I put on this channel to see if there's uh, potential confusion or maybe I just made, you know, a crappy video that I need to delete. And um, I was looking at one that I call the Coca-Cola Kid, which is about Joe McCarthy. That was one of his nicknames, as well as Tell Gunner Joe. I admit my videos, you know, are uh, fragmented all over the place, vague, I admit it, but I'm trying to trigger thought. Okay, at, at the end of the video, I have a screenshot of um, a Google page that says ABC News uncovers Operation Northwoods. And um, so I thought I'm going to take this opportunity to explain why I'm showing those words. The reason I'm showing these words is that ABC News did not uncover Operation Northwoods. Just as CBS did not uncover the um, plot to infect Negroes with the AIDS virus. Our national news television networks have been fed information from private groups who claim to be journalists. ABC News, CBS News, quite often gets their material from others. In other words, the stories are planted. ABC News did not undercover, uncover Operation Northwoods. The quack communist group who call themselves the National Security Archives. See, communist groups don't call themselves what they are. They'll, they may call themselves, you know, the um, National Defense of Patriotism and Liberty, you know. They, and the, and they, their logo may be the American flag or even the presidential seal. They don't, they don't call themselves what they are. See, they're trying to infiltrate and plant information and propaganda. Of course, so they're, they're doing it covertly so they can't uh, reveal themselves as they are. They have to put on a false front. And one of their false fronts, a false front, a, a front organization of um, communism is the quack leftist outfit calling themselves the National Security Archives, they've got a room at the George Washington University in the library or somewhere where they keep their collection of not secret documents, but documents that they've been uh, given by the government through the Freedom of Information Act, which we can all use. There's nothing special about this group, but it, uh, they get together and they have little meetings and they bash the conservatives. And they're funded by George Soros, S-O-R-O-S. They passed the information to ABC News about the so-called Operation Northwoods, which became the basis later on of the sensational video, the viral video, by the three boys entitled Loose Change, which did nothing but inject confusion in the minds of a bunch of young people and uh, distracted people and misinformed people, planting the notion without any substantiation whatsoever that Dick Cheney and George Bush planned the attacks of 9-11. All BS. This is all BS. And it all started on ABC News breaking the shocking story of Operation Northwoods. It was fed to them by a leftist 
group called the National Security Archives. Uh, in a similar case, Dan Rather broke the shocking news that our Pentagon had developed the AIDS virus as a bioweapon against Negroes in America. This story was also fed to them by an outside group, and this outside group was called the Center of Investigative Reporters. See, this is all BS. These are all communist whack jobs with fancy names who feed information to lazy and misguided journalists. That's why I showed this little bit in my video about ABC News uncovers Operation Northwoods. You see, there's a fifth column of, of the enemy, the enemy within. If you could see their real faces, you could see that they're hate-filled, psychotic, communist bastards from hell. But they wrap themselves in flags. They put on suits. They straighten their tie. They comb their hair. And they sit with dignity and poise in, on, in front of a uh, television camera and uh, pretend to be interviewed by their co-conspirator who works for the news agency. All rehearsed, all prepared, all worked out in advance to put on a show in order to, to bamboozle the American public. What I'm trying to do in my videos is to uncover this fifth column the group that uh, Michael Savage calls the enemy within. The same people that Joe McCarthy tried to expose, but instead of uh, people rallying to support this exposure, this threat to uh, our security, he got smeared and I guess was so personally devastated by this attack that he just uh, faded away into alcoholism and died young. These communists have been smearing and uh, propagating, smearing and propagating, smearing and propagating. They smear their enemies. They propagate their lies. This has been going on since before World War II ended. This has been going on since the 20s and 30s. In other words, the Cold War started before the Cold War started. <laughs> before there was a Cold War, there was a Cold War. The communists have been messing with us as long as there have been communists.